Hi, PJ. I just want to talk to you about something that we haven't talked about before. You are the queen of glamping and done some great things. And by the way, we have to show off this really cool uh, quilt that your sister-in-law made. Yes, my sister-in-law made it, it for me. It is just so cool with her camper, all of the cool stuff. But what I really want to talk to you about, yeah, yes. this is awesome. She yes. made it. We don't know where you can order one, so can oh, help you there. I can do that. Oh, okay. That well, Cole Princess Craft will there help you, go. you out. I want to talk to you about something else. What's that? I want to know how you got here. What inspired you? Now, we've talked to some people who have vintage trailers with different inspirations. Um, you have a tab. It's a new trailer, but you've made it your own, obviously, just like the vintage ones. What, what what was the beginning of this? What was the thought? What made you go, I need to do this? I started off, we bought it. It was a black and white, mm -hmm. Outback edition. So this was gonna be a family trailer? It was, mm -hmm. it was. That's out the door now. It's okay. mine, it's mine. <laughs> um, started off, I took a trip by myself and I thought if it's gonna be my she shed and I'm gonna enjoy it, I was, I was overwhelmed when we first got the trailer. I'd never towed before, I'd never camped before, and we, my husband hooked it up to the back of my truck and said, go. And you, you were brave enough to go. And I did, and I went to Mount Rushmore, and I saw the Badlands, and I went to Devil's Tower, and I made lots of friends along the way. Do you remember what it was like your first night all alone? I was terrified, and I made it from Texas all the way up to Kansas my first night. Mm -hmm. It was my dog and I. And the first place I stopped, I forgot where the water went and I forgot where the electrical went. And you didn't die. I, you I didn't lived die. It, and I someone didn't die. You. And I asked some people at the campsite with me. I had a bottle of wine and I said, I'll give you a bottle of wine if you teach me about my trailer. Great way to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> and they hooked me up and showed me how to hook it in and how to check the pressure on the water. Mm -hmm. And and showed me how to hook it up and the next stop I did we have OnStar in our car and so my husband could follow me while I'm on the road when I would get tired he'd go how many miles do you have I'd say 40 60 he'd make reservations at the next campground and download the directions to the truck and I went so I was gone for two weeks had a great time and when I got back I was like it's really a happy place and it started it started turning and I started saying, you know, I want to make it my own. I want to make it when people see me and when I see it, it's mine. You are the first person I've ever known who actually took their first trip by myself, by themselves, who didn't know how to even hook things up. I did. I mean, you just said, I just want an adventure and I can do this. I was terrified. It was kind of like a, a dare. My husband kept saying, you're not going to do it. And I'm like, oh. yeah, I am. Okay, I will. And how long ago was that? That was two years in May. Okay, so we know that you know how to make it your own now. But what I want to know is, I, I have heard how it changes people. Before you were actually did this on your own, traveled by yourself, spent nights alone with your camper. Um, now that that's kind of part of your lifestyle, how, how have you changed? What's been, what's different? I have incredible sister friends, sisters on the fly, uh -huh. wonderful ladies. Right. I have a close group. If you can look where it says your vibe attracts your tribe up there. We call ourselves the tribe. And these girls, there's from North Carolina, Illinois, Florida, and I'm from Texas. And, and that's a group of five of you that and have bonded. Yes, and we have bonded. We met at a tab rally on the East mm -hmm. Coast, and they are my family. And we were meeting in Biloxi in January to uh -huh. camp. And and so you just, just take off by yourself and go meet we, your friends. We from do that. I, we camp as a family, but I we've done, we did Glacier. We met them up in Glacier. We did East and West Glacier. We've done Mammoth Cave National Park in Kentucky. We have done Tennessee, a bunch of state parks in Tennessee because that's pretty central for us. We've done Georgia. We have done. You've just done all kinds of things everywhere. Mississippi, yeah, and we just go and we meet up and we have a great time. I've learned a lot of the things that I know about my trailer from women who've been towing and have been camping.
what have you learned about on time. And and learning about a trailer, I think, is the first level. What have you learned about yourself? Myself? Independence. Quiet is nice. Quiet is nice. There is a lot to see in the US that you can't see when you get on a cruise ship. And you or get off. You can't. You can't. And there is a lot. I have yet to meet a camper that's not a nice human being. Uh -huh. I have so, met more wonderful people. So what would you tell somebody who's thinking about getting their own trailer to make it their own? And they say, I don't know if I can do it. What would you tell them? Make it your happy place. Surround yourself with things that you love. What would you tell somebody who's not as bright as you? I'd say, take a chance. Take, take a chance. chance. Take a chance. All right. It's the best thing in the world. Yeah, it's amazing. You learn you more. Learn. You learn more about yourself than than you can ever imagine. And it's, I mean, it's just, it's absolutely enlightening and fun. Well, and and the I'm, bubbles attract people. The I bubbles people. on the outside of your camper <laughs> attract Everywhere friends. I go, I uh -huh. meet people. I give about five million tours uh -huh. every time I, uh -huh. you know, you stop at a gas station. Can I see? Come any, on in. Any parting words for people who say, hmm, maybe this is interesting. I suggest, I wish that I would have known about renting. I would have rented one before I bought one. I okay. would have fallen in love. I would have still bought one. I think that's a magnificent idea. I think just go. Just do it. Just go. The national parks are incredible. There's beautiful places. A Badlands looks like a different world. Yeah. You know what I tell no. people? I tell them, you know what? If you think you can't do it, then you don't try. But you can do it. So you just have to try it once. You can. I have never known anybody who tried it once and said, I hate this, it's not for me. Well, now they may be out there, but I've Our never first seen camping trip, which, which before I went off on myself, we camped and we had three dogs and totes full of stuff. And Too much stuff. Oh, it was awful. And I was just <laughs> like, what in the Sam Hill have we gotten ourselves into? And then the second, the second time I took it out is when I took it out by myself. And that was the first time alone. And you and about, about 300 miles down the road, I'm thinking, what on earth am I doing? You know, but you know what? You're going to be fine. And you're going to, you're going to see things that you just can't go and see. You get tired, you can stop and sleep. You're hungry, you can stop and have a sandwich. Have oh, nice. a sandwich at a, at a beautiful park on the way getting there. It's, you're in charge of your life, you're in charge of your camera. You are, what a great you thing. are. And, and it is a great way to see America. And I, you know, you can go a half a century and you don't know what pretty is until you have seen the sunrise on this ocean and on this ocean over here. You just don't know. It's amazing. Well, I always like to end by asking people what their favorite thing is about their trailer, but I bet I know what you're going to say. What's your favorite thing in here that you'd like to show people? Oh, wow. Oh, I, pillow. I love this pillow. I just love it. It is, my friend Mavis makes these, and it is my little Duke on it. So the trailer's named Duke Rella. And it's after, it's after my, my grumpy little cattle dog that carries a red frisbee everywhere he goes. And what I learned about that is that he carries this frisbee because he tries to hurt everybody. So this patient person here saved her dog from, rescued the dog and then yes. tried to retrain him by he cannot be in public or be around other people without a frisbee in his mouth. Because with the frisbee in his mouth, he can't go try to nip at people to hurt them. So right. what it's a great perfect. story. It's perfect. He's a great dog now. Um, you saved him because he's, well, he's, he's pretty awesome. He's. Well, but that's a great pillow. I love, it's it's part of you. That's why you is. love it. Well, it's you. I like things that are different and that nobody else is going to have. You so. know, some of us go our whole life without knowing what we really like because we're so busy making it match or making it easy or making it, you know, the right thing to buy or making it resellable. No. And sometimes I think campers are a great place to have whatever is you. And you know what? Nothing's permanent. You could have that pillow now and decide that isn't me anymore. I'm a different person. And, and get something else. It. That's right. Anyway, thank you, Ruthie. Yeah, Always welcome. great to visit Absolutely. with you. Absolutely. Hug it out. All okay. right. We'll All see right. you later, sweetie. All righty.